What up, guys? Cash Fall back today along with... Scott Pyre. Hi, everyone. And we are here to see what movie? The Little Mermaid. Yep, the new Little Mermaid film of 2023 by Disney. Um, of course, uh, at least as of right now, once again, nobody here in the theater. By ourselves. But who knows? Yep, for now. <laughs> So, we're going to be watching the film, and we're going to be doing our review after the movie. You guys know the drill, so we'll see you all on the next scene. Take care. Probably three and a half out of four stars. I thought it was really that well done. Um, now, when I before I get into a little bit more of this review, I want to just say I want to do maybe a little bit of a comparison thought from this version compared to the original, which I think was from the. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it was the 19. I think it was 1986 or. 1989, some... Maybe in the 80s or something. I'd have to look up the thing again, but yeah. there was the original Walt Disney classic version that was the animated um, versus this one. Um, what I think I liked... Why I think I might say I like this ver this new version a little better than the original is that... Well, the original, we all get the story, you know, after you see it. I mean, the story's still great. It's still got all those important details in it that you need. But in this one... I think they kind of like went a little beyond just telling the original story. I mean, there were like probably a few couple twists and changes they've done, but also I liked some of the extra um, songs that they were able to put into it. Like it was almost more of a, um, like maybe a minor musical in a way. Um, like almost a Disney film could be made into anything in these days. So. Um, I mean, there were two or three new songs that were put into this film that I really loved. I mean, Eric had hit, Prince Eric had his own song in the beginning about, you know, trying to find the love that he was, that he eyed for the first time and heard, mm -hmm. which was Eric, of course. Yeah. We all <laughs> know that in the story. Um, there was another one um, that was done by another character. Um, can't really uh, recall who, who it was at this point. The bird? Um, yeah, yeah, probably the song between the bird, the crab, Scuttle, Sebastian, that were trying to get her up in the morning. But anyways, um, so that song was pretty good too. I mean, it's like they put a little bit more modern, like, rap and R&B in it. <laughs> it's like, you gotta really hear pretty well because their rap is like, really super fast when they try to really explain what the hell they're really trying to do, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. It was kind of like that. <laughs> but anyways, um... So yeah, the songs in this one was really wonderful. Songs in the original were great too, they still had those, except I think in this one, they may have sounded a bit better with probably, um, uh, uh, either with her or somebody who probably just sang it, maybe it was the key, I don't know what it was, but it sounded a little different and I think it, to me, it was, it sounded better. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's my little comparison right there, so as for recommendations if you are a disney fan i do recommend that you do still see this i mean i still think it's very worth it i mean it's worth the money for a ticket um even though of course if you don't want to go to the film and pay for it if you're still paying for a subscription to disney plus i'm sure it's going to be shortly on there anytime soon they may send a release date for it so keep an eye on that for plus um so yes, if you're a Disney fan, if you loved The Little Mermaid when you were little and you watched the original, I would say see this one too and see what you think of it. <laughs> um, and as for anything else, well the film was really well done. I can't believe they really did so well. I mean with the, 
I mean, water effects, of course, and the creatures and the characters. It's almost like they used kind of the similar effects they used for Aquaman. I mean, you know, how they were able to figure out how to make them, of course, you know, talk under real look at water. I mean, because when Aquaman's movie was being worked on for many years, they were trying to have complications on how they were trying to have them sound when they were talking under water. That was kind of a challenge for them. So, I'm glad that they figured out that whole effect idea. And I guess they, Disney decided to make one of their own like this. So, uh, I think that I am done with my review. So, it was it was really great. Three and a half out of four stars. I would definitely see it again if I could. Um, but maybe I won't. I'll just wait till it comes on Plus, like everything else <laughs> of Disney-wise. So, uh, thank you all guys for hearing me. Now, Scott Applier, I'm pointing it to you. Hey everyone, Scott Applier here, reviewing The Little Mermaid with my buddy Sean. Um, I thought it was a decent movie. Um, granted, I do think I have a few flaws about the movie. Um, we'll talk about the positives first. I definitely think that the love story between Ariel and the prince, uh, definitely the highlight of the movie that really makes it, if you ask me. And also, I mean, I know Sean, um, I know you liked the water effects, but I, for me, like, I feel like there were moments where I could tell it was green screen and underwater, you know what I mean? Well, I'm sure. I mean, they probably used something like that to make it, like, help or, you know, because you know I mean? stuff like that's kind of hard to perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to do underwater scenes and live-action movies, and sometimes it can tell with the CGI. But at least, to me, I could tell. Uh, but, yeah, um, I think the songs, you know, some of the added songs, like Sean was mentioned, uh, were really cool. The rap song... I'm not, I'm not a fan of rap. I know, guys. Scott Applier's <laughs> not really a fan of rap music or like okay. hip hop or the modern R and B, but okay. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> it's okay. It was funny, but it was okay. And also, like, I mean, there are a couple characters in this movie that you probably don't want to, don't really care for that much. Like, you know, the actress that they chose to play that uh, illusion of Ursula that was young, I didn't really care for her. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, the disguised uh, young girl who dis who did the disguise of Ursula. Yeah, I mean, there were times where the duck and, all, yes, also Sebastian did a little bit, uh, were kind of annoying at times, just a little bit distracting, but I thought um, Sebastian, I thought he was like, great in his role. I thought he was definitely the, the comedic version of this movie's version of George R. Binks in a way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and yeah, um, I mean, I enjoyed this movie. I don't think it's perfect, but um, if I had to give this movie a grade, I'd probably give it a B plus. Um, yeah, uh, it's a decent film. I think Hal Bailey. I think this is actually her debut film as an actress. Uh, she would do great in her very first role. I think so because I haven't heard her be in other films before this one. I believe. Yeah, first role, and <laughs> also. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula. Um, she's more well known as a comedy actress in romantic comedies, and I know she was also in that Ghostbusters 2016 female film from back from back then. Yeah, she was. And I thought she did a decent job as Ursula, but she wasn't, you know, she, she wasn't intimidating really. She, she, uh, she wasn't really a very intimidating villain, at least not to me. But uh, she did a decent enough job. So yeah, I mean. It's an enjoyable film. Give it a B plus. That's my grade. Back to you, Sean. Well, guys, uh, thank you, Scott Applier, for a shot for shouting out your ideas and your reviews and thoughts. Mm -hmm. So um, that pretty much concludes this review of the new Disney Little Mermaid live action 2023 film. So don't forget, guys. Please, please press the like button and comment down below if you've seen the film already and how you thought of it. Are you a Disney fan? Did you like the original better? Or blah, blah, blah. Or what other thoughts of films that are out these days that you guys probably liked about them? I mean, you know all that great stuff. So anyways, I'll see you all on the next video, which I'll be posting another post shortly soon in the future about what you can expect next after this review. So, see you all guys then. Casual, out.